Hey everybody, how about a training lesson that helps you make a castle in Tinkercad? And I would like you to go to Tinkercad. Once you get to Tinkercad, you should already be signed in. And today we're going to create a new design. And as usual, when it uh, launches, I want you to click Properties and change the name. And I want this one to be Castle and put your name on it. When you've got that done, go to the next training movie. Alright, we're going to build a castle, but we're going to build it a little, little different. Instead of a big block that we cut out with a hole tool, we're going to actually make a wall. So I want you to shrink your wall from the side so that it's 2 millimeters thick. That's my rule for walls. Uh, so there's, I'm going to line it up with a um, line. And then I can see that it is one, two, three millimeters thick. So I'm going to grab that sign and I'm going to shrink it to one millimeter thick. I want my wall to be 10 uh, millimeters high. This is going to be like the outside wall of my castle. And I'm going to tell you that I want it to be 30 this way. When you've got a wall built like that, you may pick a color that you think is cool for your castle. I'm going to make my castle wall blue. And then you can go to the next training movie. The next step I want you to do is Control C and Control V to copy that wall. And then just move it to the other side for later. And then I want you to drag in a cylinder because castles all have what are called parapets on the side and then I'm gonna use that shift trick to shrink it down to 10 and then I'm gonna move it over so that it goes halfway uh, to my wall so it connects right in the middle so I've got it lined up like that in order to save plastic I'm going to go with the hole tool. So I'm going to go to my holes option up top. I'm going to put a hole inside that, and I want it. I'm going to shrink the same way by holding shift and coming down. And I'm going to take it to 9. And then I'm going to arrange those so it's inside. But I do want to uh, stretch it up so it's bigger, so it matches exactly where my original shape is. I don't want it too puffed up, I want it exact and then I'm gonna align them by clicking on the hole and then holding shift and clicking on the cylinder and then going to adjust and using the align tool. It lets me say that I want to align them that way and that I want to align the tops and then I'm gonna click the center dot on this side so now that it is aligned up and down and in the middle both ways and if I look over top I can see how cool that is and then I'm also gonna hit group so that those two pieces are joined together and now I've got an awesome cutout piece that stays looking that way when you've got that done go to the next training movie there's no gap between it we're gonna take this one and we're gonna rotate it using the arrows so that it can be this back wall and then this is where it's going to be really slick we're going to take that whole item and we're going to select it all and do control C and control V and then when we rotate that whole group the same way it'll become the other side and remember, if you go to those long lines, see how you get on the curves? That's how it lines up perfectly. Then you can move it across so that our castle now has all four walls and all four towers. And just tweak it till it's lined up exactly the way you want. When you've got that done to the way you like it, go to the next training movie. 
All right, don't worry about that door. It'll come later. I just found out that my tower video I did record is broke, so I'm re-recording it. Let me show you how I did this. Um, I went to W, and I set the work plane to the top of the building, to the top of the towers. And then I simply found that cool little cone, dropped it in that location. I held Shift, and I shrunk it, till it was 10 by 10 because remember that's how big my uh, towers are then I just did control C and control V and I pasted four of them until I had them all lined up like that when you get yours all groovy and uh, like that uh, you may go to the next training movie if you want you can use that cool trick where you do two at a time to help speed you up that's how you add towers to your cool castle. In the next movie, you'll learn how to make that door. Alright, at this point I'm going to hit W and I'm going to get rid of uh, my work plane and then I'm just going to add a little door. I'm going to go to the holes section and I'm going to simply drop a box hole. I'm going to do the shift and shrink because I wanted to get down to about uh, 8 by 8 or 7 by 7 then I can make it skinny I only need it to be two millimeters thick and because it's a door uh, I want it to be more of a rectangle instead of a square so now instead of uh, 8 by 8 I'm gonna make it 8 by 5 and now when I drag it into my wall I have got a cool door added to my house or castle once you've got it in place this is my new favorite trick uh, click on the first piece hold shift and click the second piece and that allows you to group them and because that's a hole you then have a cutout that lets you into your castle when you're done with that it should say all changes saved if you want just for kicks you can hit save again now that you've got all these awesome skills, I would like to challenge you to make your own awesome castle using the techniques I have given you. If you choose to make something awesome, please be sure to share it with us at Facebook at HL Mod Tech or also at our Instagram, which is also HL Mod Tech.